Hello everyone. Here's an introduction to the course Mathematics for Business and Management. What is a business? Business is the activity of making one's living or making money by producing or buying and selling products. We can simply say, business is an activity or enterprise. Entered into for profit. It does not mean it is a company, a corporation, partnership, or have any such formal organization. But it can range from a street peddler to General Motors. Here is the typical supply chain: manufacturer, distributor, wholesaler, retailer, consumer. The beginning part is where. Business started. Manufacture all the products being produced here. But after the products come out, manufacture. So all the trading process. Distributor, wholesaler, retailer. Eventually, the product gets consumer. This course is focusing on mathematics in this kind of typical supply chain. We focus on money. So the course started from manufacture part. We talk about the break-even analysis, the foundation for break-even analysis. For any business, we try to make it even. That's our first move, first step. We want total cost equals total revenue. Then, in the trading part, we will talk about the trade discount. This happened during the trading negotiation. The price. Listed by seller, it's not the net price being settled at the end for the trading agreement. So the difference between listed price and net price is what we call the trade discount. After the trading deal settled, there's a period for payment being done. So in this period. Some kind of discount could be offered to encourage the buyer to pay the money as soon as possible. So this part is called the cash discount. So the cash discount involved in the actual payment and the crediting received. So the relationship is very similar to the relationship between net price and the listed price. If the payment exceed the credit period. Or if you do any investment or any money borrowed, so they all involved in interest. We have part talk about the interest. There's a simple interest and the compound interest. Simple interest is the situation that interest is calculated only once. Compound interest is the situation where the interest being added to principal periodically. Besides this, we have another part. Talk about price structure. For any part of the supply chain, they all need to understand how to set up their selling price. That's the operating part. The price structure basically come from the cost of buying, operating expenses, and profit expected. This is the whole picture. About this course, in now college, this course code is Math Ten Zero Eight. Here we give a little detail about each part. Break-even analysis come from the idea total revenue cover the total cost exactly. So that's what we call the break-even. For understanding this part, we have to separate the cost. We have two basic classification: variable cost and the fixed cost. Variable cost changes with the quantity of the products being produced, but the fixed cost does not change with the quantity of products being produced. With this understanding, it will help us understand when the company can break even and how to make it happen. Next part, trade discount. It happens during the trading negotiation. 
The trade discount is the difference between the list price and net price. We use capital D describe the discount by dollar, or we can also use the lowercase D to describe the discount by percentage in the list price. We can understand the relationship in a clear mathematical expression. After the trade discount, we gotta understand the cash discount. Cash discount happens during the payment settling period. It is the difference between credit received and the actual payment. If you do not have any discount, the credit you received equals exactly how much the payment being made. If you do have discount, the credit received would be bigger than the actual payment made. So here's the relationship between credit and the actual payment. Then we place ourselves in one of the supply chain. We try to understand how we set up the selling price for each item we are managing. So the selling price comes from cost of buying, expenses of operating, and the profit expected. The part above the cost of buying is also called markup. So the selling price can simply explain as cost of buying and markup. So this is the basic structure. You will see more detail about this part. And then we talk about interest. Simple interest is the case. Interest is calculated or added to principal only once. So that's how we calculate simple interest. PRT, principal, multiply annual interest rate, and multiply time period. Compound interest. In this case, interest is calculated and added to principal periodically. Here's the relationship. Here it shows the relationship between material value and principal. And the interest can be figured out by the difference between material value and the principal. They are also called the future value and the present value. This is the whole picture of this course. It is very important to understand this mathematical relationship behind this business. This is the basic training for anyone who is going to have a career in the business field. You will have chance to practice all the detail when you started this course.